welcome to Green Moxie. We're so happy to have you in our kitchen today. Today we're going to use our venison roast to make a pulled Texas marinade recipe that is just delicious. First, you need to take two cloves of garlic and cut them really fine. Next, chop an onion. You need to salt your venison rose generously and leave it to rest on the table. In a pan over medium heat, add olive oil to the bottom of the pan and let it heat till it's shimmering. Then you need to brown the venison roast on all sides. Remove it from the pan and put it back on the table to rest. Put your garlic and onion on the bottom of the pan and fry until the onion starts to brown slightly. You can make this recipe on the campfire, but it's very cold right now, so we're doing it in our kitchen. We've left the onions to sweat a little, and now we're going to stir them up again. And we're going to add two cups of beef broth. You can use beef stock if you're out in the woods as well, just add water. We're going to put our meat back in the pan. And we're going to leave it to cook for about 10 minutes. Now add a half a cup of ketchup. And a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. You can also use apple cider vinegar here. Add a little fresh rosemary and a little dried sage. A teaspoon of mustard powder. If you don't have mustard powder, you can use liquid mustard here too. A quarter cup of brown sugar. Add two tablespoons of Worcester sauce and leave the meat to cook for an hour. When the meat has cooked for an hour and is very tender, break it up, mix it well with the sauce, and then put it back on the stove for another 20 minutes. 